Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. The first thing I want to show you is uh, if you are in a meeting or something like this and you are receiving a call, then uh, there's an easy way to mute this call by just putting the phone like this head over to the screen and then it's immediately on silence. Okay, and what is also pretty pretty cool, if you pick up your phone later, it gives you a little vibration. Could you hear that? Uh, that you know, okay, I have some uh, messages or I have a missed call or something like this. Nah? So a very nice feature. And the next feature I want to show you is also pretty cool. It's located here. It's almost invisible, but if I swipe in from here, I have a little sidebar. So and uh, I have quick access now to my favorite apps and I can edit these apps. So if I just go here on the three lines, so the hamburger menu, go on edit. And uh, now I can uh, remove uh, some of them and um, uh, put maybe TikTok here on it and so on and so on. But already would just tap on the home button and it will disappear. But whenever I swipe in like this, I will have now here TikTok um, for my favorite apps. And this type is also very useful if I use my phone with one hand. So just swipe in like this and I have quick access here uh, with just one hand hand also pretty cool and by the way if we are speaking about one hand you can use the phone also with the mini screen that you can navigate completely with one hand right? because the screen is too large normally but I can uh, minimize the screen size by just swiping down the home button and now I have access here uh, on this mini screen here on my phone but don't worry if it doesn't work uh, at you right now uh, you have to enable it first so let me show you how this uh, works okay for that just scroll on here then go to the symbol for the settings. Then we need to scroll down to the point advanced features. And here we will need the one handed mode and it has to be marked blue, then it's enabled. And whenever you scroll down now the home button, then you have this mini screen. Uh, by the way, if you are left handed, you need this arrow here because then you can put a mini screen on the other side. Huh? And uh, it's very comfortable. And yeah, and as I said, you can really, as you have really full access to your phone, uh, so you can even play games uh, on this mini screen and so on. And uh, yeah, and when you're finished with, uh, if you need the full screen again, just tap here on the outside and you're back in the regular mode. And you can clone apps with this phone. That means that you can have two Facebook accounts, uh, so two Facebook apps here directly on the phone, or also two WhatsApp apps here on the phone. And hey, why not? You have. Uh, the opportunity to insert two SIM cards while not having one WhatsApp for each number. It is possible. Let me show you how this works. For that, just scroll down here and go to the SIM before the settings. Then we need to scroll down to the point Advanced Features. And if we scroll down a bit, we will have here this point Dual Messenger. So now you have here a list which apps are supported for that feature. As the name says, it's only messenger services, uh, messenger services, and um, yeah. Let's start maybe with WhatsApp to clone it. Just tap here, go on install, confirm. Then you have the chance also to use a separate contact list. No? We skip that here. Yes, you can do that later. I will show you it also in the app. So it's then you have. Um, uh, really an own contact list, uh, not mixed up with your first one. So uh, here, you can, whenever you want to have a separate contact list, you can able, enable it here and it is valid for all these apps here. Okay, let's go on Snapchat as well. And let's go on Facebook and Messenger. By the way, um, the Facebook Lite app and the Messenger Lite app doesn't work uh, if you want to clone it. Uh, but it's a way to have, uh, if you have the original Facebook or Messenger app, it's a way to have a third account, by the way, just by the way. Yeah? Okay, and uh, let's go back to have a look how it looks like. Okay, and here they are. Okay, this is my main WhatsApp account. This is my second one. This is my main Snapchat account. This is my second one. You always can recognize the second one with the orange mark here at the corner, as you can see. No? Same with Facebook, main Facebook, and the second one. So very nice. And you can do uh, screenshots also with the phone. So that means if you want to have a picture 
uh, here from your activities. So just uh, tap the power button and the volume down button together, just for short, and you're having a screenshot. And um, then you can edit the screenshot here or share it directly with WhatsApp, Telegram, and so on. So one more time, the power button and the volume down button just for short together and you're having a screenshot. By the way, if you tap now on the editing symbol here, you have the opportunity also um, to draw something inside or to highlight something, huh? um, pretty nice. And if you tap here on the corners, you have also the opportunity to crop a part of the screenshot. Very useful if you want to uh, crop a picture from a website or something like this. Uh, after you can share here this edited part also or to send it directly with the arrow here to your gallery. Yeah, and if you want, you can make also a video of your screen actions here. Uh, so whatever you do here, if you're playing games or something else, you can record it. So let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and then we will have here a screen recorder. So tap it, and uh, then you have to choose the sound source. If you want to have no sounds, if you want to have just media sounds or the app sound, nah, or next to the media sound, also the microphone, in case if you want to explain something. And also the last point is interesting because uh, if you touch on the screen, on the video, no one can see uh, it really. Uh, so, but if you enable this point here, then uh, people can see on the video where you have touched. There's a little animation then. Huh? Okay, let's start the screen recording. So you will see a little countdown here. And then our screen recording has started. And now we have our actions here on, um, yeah. A tape? Is it, can, can you say it something? My, my English sometimes is terrible. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Here is now a pen. If you want to uh, mark something or if you want to explain something, very useful. No, but you cannot navigate here, by the way, because uh, you will draw something on the screen. Um, so you have to disable the pen first to go to another page. Um, this guy is also nice if you want to explain something. Very nice if you want to use, uh, so if you're using the microphone next to and people should see you also next to, then the front cam is here enabled and people can see you. And yeah, I think you notice here already the pause, uh, if you want to pause the video and uh, continue it, the same video later again. And here to stop the video, that means you stop the screen recording. Okay, and you can set up also uh, a few things here for the screen recording. Uh, for that, uh, just scroll down here, scroll down a second time. And now if we go here on the written word screen recorder, not an icon, go on the written word screen recorder. Then you have here on, uh, you can have the sound source here again in general, and you can have also um, uh, the decision which video quality you want to choose. Now, if you want to uh, the highest one, so, that means here full HD, or if you want to have just a medium one, so uh, SD or the low one. No? And if you go here on details, you have also the opportunity later to uh, choose um, the front cam size, the front cam picture here, if it should be bigger or not. Um, yeah. So choose your settings maybe before, and then you will have a great screen recording experience. And if you want, you can uh, set up also some stuff uh, before. So just scroll on here, scroll on a second time. And uh, then go on the written word screen recorder. Not on the icon, go on the written word screen recorder. And then you have, uh, first of all, the option to select the sound source again um, by default. Né? And also um, the video quality. Né? So if you want to have the highest one, so that means full HD or just SD here with medium or the lower one. So that saves uh, memory, you know, because uh, your internal storage is limited here. So um, if you want to make many screen recordings and just simple ones, so medium is uh, okay as well. You know? Okay, and uh, if you go here on details, you have some more options like uh, also to select uh, the selfie video size. So if you enable the front camera, how big should um, uh, the window here? And uh, yeah. Yeah, and if you want, you can also split the screen. Huh? We have a 6.5 inches display and uh, that is enough of space uh, if you want uh, to uh, run more than one app at the same time on the screen. Okay, for that, just go here on the three bars. So for the recent tabs, now, then you see all your recent and previous opened apps and so on. And then go here on the top, maybe if you want to watch uh, YouTube, no? then go here 
on the top of, uh, also on tap on the icon here, YouTube. And then you will have here the opportunity to open it in split screen view. So now I'm here on the top YouTube, no? I can watch videos and now I can select a second app here below. May if I want to do something uh, on Facebook during I watch a video. So a pretty, pretty cool tool. And by the way, uh, in the middle here, the three points, um, you can make the video larger here, YouTube, so the first app, or you can also make the second uh, app larger here, Facebook. Huh? Okay, I have to log in at first now to we have full access here. And uh, yeah, so pretty, pretty nice. And uh, if you say, okay, I'm ready with it and I just want to have one app, you can swipe it up maybe if you want to have uh, Facebook or you can swipe it down if you want to have uh, YouTube. No? Then you have YouTube again, you're on full screen. And as a second tool, uh, if you want to have uh, the multi window mode and so on, you can open an app just like a pop up. Uh, so that you can do some stuff next to. So for that, just go here on three bars again. You have the recent tabs, tap here on the top on the, uh, on the app icon and go here on open in pop-up view. And then I have now YouTube here as a pop-up window. And uh, if I go here on the blue bar, I have also the opportunity to make it more transparent. No? That, that doesn't disturb me too much. Um, that's just running in the background like this and then it's uh, um, yeah, not completely visible, but um, yeah, uh, I, I have it in the background a bit more. Huh? So and whenever you want to have the full app again, just tap here on the, uh, on the arrows like this and you have the full app here again. So uh, I think also a very nice tool if you want to do something next to. The next point I want to show you is for the camera because uh, did you know that you don't use the full 64 MPs of your camera, you just use 16 MPs. Uh, let me show you how you can upgrade it. Uh, just go here on the camera app and uh, yeah, you have to go to the main app here. And if you go here now on the 3 to 4, you have here the chance to go to the 64 MP cam. Now, as I said, if not, you just shoot pictures with the 16 MP. So just go here on 3 to 4, go here on 3 to 4, 64 MP. And just now I have the full 64 megapixels uh, here with the camera. Um, the only thing is I cannot zoom in and I have to hold the camera very steady um, if I want to take pictures. Uh, so this, these are the disadvantages, but I have the full resolution then and uh, yeah, but the pictures in the regular mode um, are a bit more dynamic and smooth and so on. So this is uh, uh, why I would recommend to you if you're not a professional one uh, to choose the basic three to four um, and uh, it's a bit more easy. But if you want to have the full resolution, maybe one day um, you know now how it works. And the last tool I want to show you, it is also for the camera. So it's a virtual assistant that recognizes photos and pictures and so on and can tell you a bit more. Uh, maybe if you're walking outside, see a nice building, uh, you can hold your phone on the building and the phone will tell you more about this building. Same with flowers. You, know, you take a picture from a flower and wants to know which flower it is, um, then uh, the system could help you as well. It's still under construction and doesn't work at 100%, but I will show you a bit uh, about now. Okay, for that, just go here on the camera and go here on more. And then we will have here Bixby Vision. So for the very first time, you have to may do an update. Huh? So let's take maybe a two euro coin if we recognize my two euro coin here. And Let's have a look here. So he's checking now for similar images and so on and you compare, you can compare a bit and you see that recognize the two euro coin here. So pretty nice. So we can check it also with uh, a battery here. If the system is recognizing a battery. Uh, so let's have a look. Ah, that's recognizing the battery as well. As I said, not a hundred percent, 
but uh, I think uh, uh, it's okay. Huh? Okay, and also because I was expecting also that he can tell me which size it is and so on. But it, that, it's, uh, uh, that was pretty tough. Uh, I think we can be okay with. And what I like the most on this feature, you have a translating tool included. Now let me go back here. If we swipe now here the bar a bit like this so that you go on the, on the T, you have um, something to uh, recognize a text and so on. So if I go like this now, he is uh, checking the text and now we can just copy the text. So this is very useful for studies and so on. No? So you don't have to write word by word again. No, you just hold your phone on the book maybe and he is copying the text and you just have to paste it. Huh? Pretty, pretty cool. And the next tool I want to show you uh, is, uh, if you go like this here, you have a translation tool. No? I have a German book right now here and uh, the phone is auto-detecting the language right now. I didn't say that it's German, it's auto-detecting the language right now and put it directly in English and it's almost the same uh, uh, color of the letters and so on. And then you can copy it all or save the image and so on. And uh, that saves also a lot of time and it's pretty awesome for the studies uh, and pretty, pretty cool also for holidays if you're in a restaurant like this and so on. You will have not that problem again. Oh, what is this? And uh, can I order this? And uh, No, a pretty, pretty nice uh, tool. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and show you here some stuff uh, you may didn't know before for your phone here. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me a something up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for. And yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in, or maybe just subscribe me if you don't want to miss a new video. Uh, thank you so, so much for all your support. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.